Hi, I am not sure. And uh, today we will implement how to call ASP.NET web service in Android app. Uh, so before the starting the application, testing application, you need to Java Eclipse in your machine. So suppose you not there, then just download with the Java sites, uh, the Android sites, Java Eclipse. Okay. So now after the downloading, you can just configure Java Eclipse and just go to the file objects just go to the file and uh, select menu new android application projects just a minute uh, in the new projects application name call net service and just remove the package name example select the api target next next and the next just select blank activity next finish okay now just remove the text view just increase the size zoom just drag and drop button and one text view for the display service data service response okay now button name is between okay my text view name is txt view data now just go to the string file in the value folder add one string for the button name button text between ok and the text was ok now the designing xml file the text just call string file and uh, string name was between ok Now we are declare globally objects of button is between OK and the object of text view is txt. OK, txt VW data. I just forgot the semicolon. Text view. data semicolon now inside the on create method this is overridable method just find the control between ok now the type casting was button find view by id just call the unique id r dot id by between ok now the same for the text view Now just go to the Google and search the text free ac.net web service which is available free ac.net web service for the sample now open the web service ac.net Okay, okay. Now global weather. Get weather. So in the my project.
the state one class which is name of call so just create class okay create one method for the call a web service global weather get weather one parameter two parameter is there city name and country name here two parameter is city name and country name is there Now just declare uh, some global variable like soap action and the soap action is this is my soap action web service x dot dot global weather uh, just change okay now the method name get weather Okay. Just copy the soap address and just, just change the soap address. My soap address is just go to the sites and just copy the service location. Web service x dot net global weather dot xmx paste okay after that you need to declare a parameter uh, my two parameter is there uh, before this implement the soap service you need to one library key soap to Suppose you is not there, then just download with the Google and just copy paste in the libs folder and just go to the build path, build path and add build path. Okay, now the all add all required class. Okay, now the property info is class, just create object pi property info and the my object name and parameter name was here is mentioned in the web service city name just copy the city name and just paste in the code the parameter set pro property name city name and the value is my parameter city name okay the next parameter is set the let's go to the google copy country name okay and the uh, value is country name okay now the type or string is the mention in the site we can just check you know the copy the pending code and just paste into the code okay now add all required classes import all required classes so serialization in log and the uh, HTTP transport async okay uh, uh, suppose is suppose is given exception then just pass the message error just go to the manactivity.java file and just declare the set on click listener method for the click event set on click listener neon click listener this is anonymous method import required class okay here is async 
कॉल सोप एसिंग कॉल सोप एक्सटेंड्स एसिंग टास्क दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड प्रोसेस सपोज यू रिक्वायर्ड टू use background process anything background process in the android you need to extend with async task and just pass three parameters as per your response means required a return value i just pass string void and string because i need to return string okay now just add an implemented method doing background process now the call in the doing background method the your services method is calls of just create the calls of objects here full soap the object name was cs and just initialize the class full soap okay now the create from variable response dot get with and just pass the parameter city name was madras and the country name was india and just return the response okay now we have one another overridable method is there I'll just copy. I have in another project. On post execute. I'll just copy. Here, declare one progress dialog for the progressor. Just change the current activity. I'll just forward the curly brackets close. Now, just close the curly brackets. Okay. Now, in on post execute method, this is overridable method, and he just return a result. so i'll just pass txt vw data dot set text and just pass the variable name result okay okay now now this is called the async calls of class in the on click event on the button new async calls of dot execute This is mostly done. The code is done. Now I'll just, just copy this. Just forward. Uh, just remove that. Now done. Now my my project name was Colnet Service. Just go to the manifest file and just add the permission because I need to implement with internet. So I need to. apply the uh, allow the permission of internet access and network access so just android permission internet and another was network access so oh, is that any permission is uh, so is difficult to find out
Okay, access network state. Now just save and just close the manifest file. Uh, access to permission internet and access network state. Now all is done. Just right click on projects, run as a Android application. This is my emulator. Just select the current emulator is AVT for access. Just select. Okay. And just wait for the display output because the emulator installed the APK file in the emulator. And it is for the import the emulator file in the Eclipse uh, emulator. APK file in the emulator. Okay. Now just click on OK button. Okay, uh, this is your output. I uh, means in XML format. This is the location, Madras. This is the uh, current weather is there in XML format. Okay, so this is uh, their output of your soap service. In the my next video, I'll try to explain how to read XML file in Android with XML parser. So do not forget to view my next video and do not forget to subscribe my channel.